We're in Barcelona. We just checked into our room and look it, they left us this little cheesecake and then champagne. So sweet, but unfortunately we got here a little too late, so it has melted, but it's okay. We're gonna save it for tomorrow. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another travel weekend in my life, this study abroad semester. Today, I am coming at you guys from Barcelona, Spain, and I am so excited. It's just Lauren and I this weekend, and we got here late last night. We just took a direct flight from Florence, super easy travel day, but we got in around like 10 p.m., grabbed Taco Bell, came to our hotel and crashed, and now we are up and at them, ready to have a fun day. We are staying at the Corner Hotel, in Barcelona and it's super cute. I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour and then we're gonna head to get some breakfast. We're doing park wall today and then I don't know. We're just gonna kind of see where the day takes us. Lauren has been here before and we have ghost city passes which I've talked about them a couple of times. I've used them in a few different cities but basically you just buy one pass and then you can do a set amount of activities. In certain cities you can do unlimited things. I had an unlimited pass in Paris and we hit a bunch of different spots. Some guided tours, some you just show up and instead of paying for each individual activity you just pay like one set price and then scan that pass wherever you go on the like list of activities that they have here until Sunday it's currently Friday morning so just gonna kind of see what happens so let's give you guys a little tour first been eating up the buffet breakfast everywhere <gasps> look at the little donuts I love seeing how different breakfast is in each country we go to all right we're gonna load up come back to you they have all kinds of fruit juices and I'm getting my OJ in a champagne glass all right we've got the goods i got this like mini quiche and tomato some bacon they had all kinds of like little pastries so i got a couple of donuts to try and this little like muffin and then i wanted to try grapefruit they had so much fresh fruit here i always get pineapple and then i got orange juice of course in my champagne glass <laughs> we have lots of mirror space here so here's a little outfit of the day this sweater is from Shein, and I have worn this literally every single week. I wore it in Milan. I wore it in, where were we last weekend? Switzerland last weekend, and then I have it on again this weekend. It's just really great. Like, I love the boat neck. It layers really well with necklaces. These are from Goriana. And then I have on a denim mini skirt, channeling my inner 2000s Disney character. Um, this is from Revolve, and then I've got on white socks, my Steve Madden boots that I wear all the time. Fun little scarf, not really sure how the weather's gonna be today, so I feel like better safe than sorry, I'm just gonna bring it. And then this purse, I've never gotten so many questions on a purse before. I got it when I was in Morocco, spontaneously. Olivia convinced me to buy it for $20, and I've been wearing it literally everywhere, so. Cutesy. All right, Lauren, come show us what you're wearing. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> just show them. Okay, it'll be cute without the jacket on. I have this little half top. From, from oh, the top is from oh, oh Polly, and then the skirt, skirt is from Princess Polly. <laughs> then I have my Reeboks, my jacket from Olvis, and I'm bringing this so I can change my shirt. <laughs> it's she really wants to wear this for the first half of our day, but it's kind of chilly out, so we've got a jacket, and then she's gonna change after. I just really want to wear this in Park Wall. I'm just really hoping for the best with this outfit, and that I will be comfortably dressed throughout the day, but. All right, our breakfast was good. Let's get out of here. All right, ladies and gents. We're walking from our hotel to our meetup spot for Park Wall. It's like two miles. We stumbled across this pretty little church. Well, it's not little. It's huge. I'm sure it's gorgeous inside. But yeah, there is public transportation. We just decided that since we got here late last night, we wanted to, you know, see the sights during this daylight. I also just somehow forgot that we were gonna be seeing the ocean this trip. 
we're doing this first, but Lauren said all the other things that we're gonna do are gonna be over by the water, so I'm Semi excited. over by the water for how big it is here. All right, we're killing time before our tour starts and grabbing postcards. Look at how many cute ones they have. They have like Polaroids, they have like watercolor ones, they've got these ones that are like all the fun glass. I love that sangria one, I think I'm gonna get this one too. And then look at, they also have this kind that when I was in Paris, I got some of these. How fun. Okay. <laughs> Look at how busy it is. Lauren goes, I don't think it's gonna be that busy because it's the fall time. And this is more of a summer place, but it's packed. We just checked in and are ready to start our tour. Throw your hands up if you're excited. <laughs> I'm so Ooh, happy to see palm trees, you have no idea. <laughs> see you soon, California. without her jacket on. So cute. Turn around so they can see the back. I love this top. It came with a matching skirt, but the skirt was too long on us. So I have yeah. her in this so this skirt is too long on me, but I love that skirt. I wore this in Africa and so many of you guys loved it. I'm definitely bringing it back. down through not that that maybe and now we're gonna make our way down to that thing right I think so like we're we're over in here somewhere <laughs> we're realizing how much bigger it is here than we thought we're trying to find our way over to the mosaics because we just took a lot of pictures in the gardens but now we're making our way over to the main attraction vlogging on my phone here because my camera just isn't like saturating everything as beautiful as it is. But we just took some really cute pictures, asked some trusted strangers, and we got a really good one. She took a cute one all over here. Guys, look at the glass in transportation shocker um, so we're walking another mile towards the Sacre Garde Familia I don't know if that's how you say it but that's basically where everything else is Lauren said the shopping the food um, all that other kind of stuff we're walking past a lot of residential stuff right now so we're just gonna walk over there and see where the day takes us but we're gonna save the cable car adventure for tomorrow so yeah it's very warm out. I am sweating really badly right now, but this morning I was really cold in my scarf and sweater and skirt, so bring layers here. All right, we made it here, but there's so much construction and the time of day is kind of funny, so the lighting is awful, but we came, we found on TikTok that you should like come to this little park across the street by this pond in order to like see it in its full view. And it's gorgeous. Go here, you have a good Thank you. <laughs> and you can see all the way to the top. 
but the lighting just won't pick it up. But Lauren found this tapas place that said that it was authentic, it had four and a half stars. So we came and our waiter Carlos is so, so, so nice. He just talked with me for a while, but we ordered a few different things. Only a couple have come so far. These are cheese croquettes and then these are ham croquettes, which ham is bacon here. Um, I'm not really sure what that is, but we got a couple other things and I'm really excited. It's very cute inside of here. Oh, the potatoes. Yum. Look at that. All right, we took his recommendation because he said the potatoes with this like mayonnaise and green sauce on it was gonna be the best. It looks really good. All right, let's try one. Hot. These ones are so good. This is like that's like perfect. This is like brie, breaded brie, and this is fig sauce. And if you watch my vlogs in Florence, you know how much Olivia and I love mixing the brie with fig. It's so good. And then we just got another one. This is the skirt steak. We weren't really sure how big everything was going to be, so we got a lot. These are like interesting. This is like what the inside looks like. The inside of that one is like mushy, like almost like potato. We just, we just are really having one of those humbling travel days. Like nothing's going well. Like we've been on this bus. I think yeah. getting further. We've further. been on this bus for like 15 minutes, and Lauren goes, "Mackenzie, I hate to say it, but I think we're going the wrong way." We're a little unprepared for what is happening, and we're realizing that things are just so far from one another. My mask. Oh gosh, not that. All right. Yeah, everything here is very spread out, and we don't really know how to get from one place to the other. And like you can see, we are trying to use public transportation to make it easier, but we're public having- Public transportation here is complicated. It's a big city. Yeah, it's huge here. I didn't know. We're not complaining, just like, we definitely weren't prepared for that. So it is like 5 p.m. almost, and we haven't really done much besides see park well and eat a couple of tapas, but it's okay because not every day can be perfect and we made it just in time for the sun to start going now but well, we're gonna shop it's very cold outside and I've been manifesting a pair of pants from Zara so I'm hoping that they have them today so I can change into them and wear them out all right we didn't have any luck in Zara but we came to mango which is owned by the same people as H&M, and I really like these culotte pants. They're like a little gappy in the back, but I kind of think they might work, and I don't have anything in this color. I really like them. I really like these ones too. These are like a light wash, wide leg culotte. All right, I made a purchase, and I just put them on right in the store. Let's shop. How cute is this vintage shop? They have all kinds of button-ups sewn into different two-piece sets here. It's so cute. I like this Wrangler one. We just found like an Ulta type of store and they have Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I've been out since I got here. And then Lauren and I are gonna get a new um, nail polish and then I'm getting this mask. I wish that I could get a full-size shampoo and conditioner but I'm nervous about getting it back on the plane so. I am going to get their coconut oil hair mask though because my hair needs some TLC here. We've entered the design market and they have so many cute things. I love all the prints. Oh my god, look at the stationery! Oh, that's so cute! Look at it! Alright, this was my favorite shopping so far. I didn't buy anything, but you need to come to the design market. Alright! After 
lots of shopping and we found this place called Taco Negra, I think. And it is packed in here. But it's super cute. The food looks amazing. It had great reviews. And we are tired of walking. We walked 20,000 steps today. So we only have our table for 50 minutes because someone is coming with a reservation. Um, but they were able to squeeze us in. So we're excited. I took her advice and got her favorite burrito. I don't even know what's on it. So hopefully it's good. <laughs> but like, look how cute. We got drinks. They're 450. I got a frozen strawberry marg with the sugar rim and Lauren got a mojito. A mojito. And look it, it has the good kind of ice. It's Cheers. And we're making a game plan for tomorrow so that we don't walk around aimlessly as much. Our food legit just came out in not even five minutes. Lauren got beef. And I got I don't even know what, but it looks delicious. Oh man. What do you rate your meal? Ready? Three, two, one. Ten. Mm. We, we never give tens, but it was amazing. I read the receipt and I ended up getting the carne asada burrito. It was incredible. Literally the blend of cheese and beans and rice. It was so good. Big fan. All right, we have officially walked 10 miles. So we are in fact walking over to the bus to get us back to our hotel. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday morning in Barcelona. It's safe to say I slept like a freaking baby last night. Um, and my legs are certainly feeling a little bit sore this morning, but it's okay. We're up and at them and ready to have a day. Lauren and I have brunch at 9.30 at this place called Cafe Petite. And then from there, I think we're going to mosey on down to ride a cable car and it's like one of those like glass things and you get to see the whole city and it stops at a few different spots i think might go on this like little river boat cruise and then have dinner by the water i don't know we're just going to kind of see where the day takes us but with a little more structure than seeing where the day takes us yesterday you know so we'll see how it goes i'm excited um but we're having a little bit of change of plans in the outfits because it's a little bit colder out than I expected and I don't want to be uncomfortable. So originally I was going to wear this skirt and I thought it was going to be super cute because it was going to match this purse. And I still think that's going to be super cute, but I'm going to put this in my long champ and instead I'm going to start off the morning in jeans and the same top that I was going to wear with the skirt just because I don't want to be cold, you know? And then I feel like once you're cold, it like really sets the tone for the rest of the day. And I bought these cute jeans yesterday, you know, so I feel like I should wear them. So those are the vibes. That's the plan. We are checking out of this hotel, actually. And then tonight we're going to stay at another hotel that we booked, which is just the Hilton. So at some point we do have to bring our luggage out of this place and get it to the new hotel. So but we've decided that's going to be a later issue. So... I've got on this like brown, kind of like a denim jacket almost, and then just a white long sleeve shirt, same necklaces as yesterday. I put on a brown headband that matches my jacket, but I feel really stupid in it, so I might take it off, but Lauren tells me it looks normal and that I'm just overthinking it, so I don't know. And then the pants that I bought yesterday, and then my same little Steve Madden boots. But I think this apple will be a lot cuter with my skirt on, but I don't think that it's like not cute now, you know what I mean? We're off to breakfast. And we're both feeling pretty confident in our outfit choices right now. Jeans and a jacket was the right choice this morning. But it's a beautiful start to the day. Oh, and we're really matching right down to the long champs. <laughs> So. We're on our walk to breakfast and look at this is a popular house actually done by the same artist as yesterday's park wall. So cool. There's a bunch of people waiting outside. Okay, we just saw that, 
and we realized that it's a lot cooler than we thought it was and you can like go inside and it's all this exhibit and you can go up to the rooftop and there's like a bar and a restaurant up there so we think we might go now after breakfast maybe have a little mimosa yeah i don't know it seems kind of fun i was manifesting a spontaneous day and i don't know this seems like the start of it Lauren got an iced coffee and I got orange juice and it's literally so fresh. The orange juice is just in Europe in general is amazing. And we are figuring out what to get. We've got like traditional Spanish breakfast. I'm excited. All right, we're stepping out of our comfort zone. Lauren and I have both never had Eggs Benedict, but I've always wondered about it. It's poached eggs, and poached eggs are the only type of eggs on their menu. So we're trying it out. I don't know why the lighting on my camera is so funny. And then we also got the avocado toast. Now, a year ago, I would never eat something that looks this interesting, but it has like beet tzatziki on it. And then these are, what are these called? They're, they're like everywhere on like chic level 10 restaurants and then this like purple cabbage tomatoes avocado and then we got feta on ours as well looks so good i'm excited and then we have pancakes coming too <laughs> the pancakes look so good i'm like such a sucker for raspberry stuff like that stuff looks so good jam i love pancakes with like this little blueberry sauce stuff on it Wow, that stuff on the plate is good. That's what I like on my pancakes, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, the verdict on our breakfast is that I might be a Eggs Benedict girl. I loved the Eggs Benedict best. Pancakes were amazing, and I really liked the avocado toast, too. It was different, but it was very good. I love the avocado toast. That was your favorite? Yeah. Really? I was just so full I couldn't eat the rest of it, because I had all the other stuff before. It was amazing. I really, really liked it here. Very cute atmosphere. Super sweet employees. So, yay! All right, we just left breakfast and we're wandering to our next thing. And we found a brandy. Guys, I have been eyeing these little PJ shorts for so long. And I finally just got them. And then I got this little tank to go with. 22 euros for both. I don't know. Cutie little PJs. Lauren was like, just do it, Mackenzie. You keep looking at it. Oh, look at how fun this is. The brandies here are so good. I've never been like a huge brandy shopper. Actually, this is like my first purchase, I think, from them. But they're amazing in Europe, so fun. All right, we decided to go inside of the house that we showed you guys this morning that we stumbled across. We didn't realize it was right here and it was on our Ghost City Pass. It's usually 39 euros to go up, but we just scanned our pass and we're able to go in. And it's very pretty inside, they give you this like little remote and you basically just click um the number of each room that you're in and it gives you like a little explanation on what's happening in each room and then some people have paid to do like the virtual reality which shows you what the house used to look like um like decades ago obviously so it's kind of cool you know and then they have a bunch of different languages like 10 different language options obviously we're using english but kind of cool kind of fun hello lauren kind of fun <laughs>
All right, all the way at the top, there's a rooftop. You can stop and have a drink. But look at all this architecture, so cool and so different than anything else we've seen, especially in Italy. Throw your hands up if you're excited. All right, we just got done with our little house tour. What'd you think, Lauren? It was cool. It was interesting. I'm glad I got to see it. I'm glad we got to see it. It was very busy though. Like a lot of people in a small yeah. space, but and still they cool. Had, like, virtual reality for some people. And so they had iPads that they were carrying around to like scan the room to see it in like virtual reality. And it was just like a bunch of people like staring at these iPads. So it was kind of hard to move around. Yeah. Because we didn't have them. I honestly think that the outside of the building is like cooler yeah. to look at um, and anyone can like obviously stop and take a photo. I think it's still worth like going by it though, but look at how yeah. many people are outside waiting. Okay, we're thinking that maybe we had trouble with the bus system because we're supposed to be using the like subway metro system. They have a ton of different options, but we're just not 100% sure which one is going to get us to the next destination. There are things in English, but it's definitely harder here in Spain than it has been in some other countries with the language barrier, but we're trying to figure it out. We're headed off to the cable car now. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to get there. Holy cow, you guys, that was easy. It was too easy. We should have we done were, like, that yesterday. We were Metro yesterday, so we didn't try it. Not scared of it, we just didn't realize it was like everyone's main form of transportation yeah. here. We just assumed that it was the bus, but it was so much easier. It literally took seven minutes to get here. So now we're in line for the cable car. Well, they just scanned our Go City Pass, and you just literally hop in a little car. Yeah. and it keeps on going so we're beginning our adventure i really enjoy these things where you just like get in and you get to see a lot we did that in um capri and we did it in switzerland last week but last week was like a train we weren't like in a cable car like this but this is kind of cool and there's room for up to eight people to go in one but it's just lauren and i so they don't stick you with random people Alright, there's like different spots that you can get out on during the cable car. So we just got off at this stop and look, there's the water. <laughs> Look how huge this shipping port is over here. And all the cruise ships. Guys, I really think that I want to try out a cruise when I get back to America. I mean, obviously I wouldn't be cruising in America, but Laura's been on a couple, and she said that I would really like it. She would like it. Where should we cruise? Should we go on a cruise together? Where should we go? Aruba. I want to go to Aruba so bad, but I... That would be a good way to do it. But you think you have to cruise there? No, let's do the, the U.S. Virgin Islands. That, that's something I really, really want to do. Stay in Aruba, because that's something you could do like 10 days of. We've been there for 10 days. And it in Aruba? Was, yeah, like half of it's a desert and the other half's like the ocean. So like we went ATVing in like the desert. And in Aruba? Yes. What? I thought Aruba yeah. was like all like flamingos and stuff. No. Aruba is the number one spot that I want to see when I get back to America. I mean, obviously it's not in America, yeah. but like once we're done with study abroad, I want Aruba to be like one of the first trips I do. Very pretty. We just took some really cute pictures. I'll leave one here. yesterday. It wow. looks huge from up here. We're converted. We're public transportation girlies. <laughs> Last time I took public transportation in Europe, it went very badly. So I'm like, that's why I was a little nervous to do it. We're getting used to it. We're getting yeah. the hang of it, guys. 
officially the most dramatic experience we've had. 1650 for unlimited uses for 48 hours. All right, our little subway trip spit us out right in front of the market. Wow. Lauren's so excited. This was like one thing she saw on TikTok that why. she wanted to do. Like I'm hoping for a two dollar smoothie. Yep. Oh my gosh, all the candy guys and the macaroons. I'm gonna have to get a couple pieces of chocolate. I don't know what I got, but I got a bunch of random things. And it was only five dollars. Yay! What else is in an empanada? Salmon, chicken, ham, and cheese. Empanada. Guys, this is the place that you should come and eat lunch. You can just get like a bunch of different snacks. Get a corn dog, Lauren. Get a corn dog. What is that kind that on the left? Oh my god, that has cheese and fried potatoes, Lauren. smoothie I got mango coconut all right I felt like I needed to try an empanada so I got one I got ham and cheese and then the blueberries looked amazing so I got one all right my empanada was not as flavorful as I thought it was gonna be I should have got the spicy chicken because I got the spicy chorizo last night it was amazing but still fun to try new things Lauren and I are now walking over by the water we just were by the marina and we are attempting to find the beach. I really want to see the water and sand and just like, I'm excited. This would be such a fun place to be like in the summer. I wish we could have squeezed this in when it was warmer out, but still fun to do the like touristy sightsee kind of things now that it's fall, but yeah. Moving back to the beach ASAP. This makes me miss California so much. It's so beautiful right now. One beef, one chicken, one pork, which is the specialty. And Lauren got another burrito this week, and look at, I mean this week, today. And it looks so good. I'm excited to hear about it. Big, we're big uh, public transportation girls. We're on the bus now. <laughs> we're not making fun of it, guys. We're just really proud of ourselves for yeah, finally figuring so it out. Yeah. Okay. 12 stars. 27. <laughs> Tell them about your meal, was it good? It was pretty good, yeah. But you liked last night's better? I liked last night's burrito better. I got a burrito again. This burrito was different, good. I liked the sangria a lot. The sangria, yeah, was good. Especially I felt like we Lauren wished that she was tipsy like me. I thought my tacos were great. I thought that the, I'm on a pork grind. You know, my mom actually can't eat pork, so I grew up not really eating it. Um, like all that often, and so I kind of just assumed I didn't like it. Lauren, don't say that. <laughs> Mackenzie. <laughs> Because it was only 
supposed to be nine stops. Right? Yeah. 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 All right, big public transportation girls. We made it 19 stops, got our luggage, and now we have 17 minutes to wait until we go to the next one. So we've successfully made it to our next hotel. We're staying at Little Hilton, and we have a nice big king bed. Here's a little room tour for you. Yeah, we get to cuddle, me and Lauren. Oh, what's this? Mm, locked. Someone else's room. Oh, but our bathroom's nice and big and the lighting's really good in here. So Lauren's gonna take her shower. She always takes her shower first. Because um, I can't do anything until I'm showered. But yeah, anyways. I'm gonna try on my pajamas that I bought from Brandy Melville and I'll show you what they look like. Aren't they so cute? They're like little boy shorts. They're a little looser than underwear. But they're like obviously not as loose as like typical sleep shorts and then this little tank that goes with. So cute. Love. All right, besties showered and in bed. Ready for another slumber party. We had a good day. We packed a lot <laughs> into today, like a lot. But it wasn't an exhausting day. Like I don't feel nearly as like beaten yeah. down as I did yesterday. And we still walked eight miles today, even if um, that's hard oh. to believe, so. Anyways, all right, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning for another full day in Barcelona. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday in Barcelona, our last day. We actually have a late flight today. We have, like, the last flight of the day. So we're getting out of here. We have, like, all day here. We won't get back to Florence until, I think, like, 11.30 p.m. So we're going to do some exploring today. We are headed off to the Ark. And then there's like a fountain around there that Lauren said is really cute. And then we have like a little lunch moment. We're gonna get some tacos. And then I think we might try to go to this like pincho bar strip that one of the girls I went to high school told me about. But we also just kind of have like five free hours this afternoon. We don't have anything like super set in stone. So we're just hoping that maybe our waiter will give us like a good recommendation or something. We've hit a lot of things. But um, yesterday was definitely easier once we figured out the like metro system. So here's what I'm wearing today. My little two-piece set is from Pepper Mayo. I actually brought this from home and I've yet to wear it. So today's the day. It's got a cute little cutout in the back. It's definitely like a cute set with heels, but obviously I'm not wearing heels. So I'm wearing my white Xena sneakers. And then it's a little chilly out right now. So I know that a scarf doesn't really make sense with this but my jacket doesn't match and this does, so I'm gonna wear this. And I typically wear this as like a shawl and I keep it like this to cover my back, um, which is why I wear it so much. And then I'm wearing the Africa purse. Very cute. Lauren, come show them what you're wearing. I have really seen it before. <laughs> this is Olivia's <laughs> dress. This is Olivia's dress from Abercrombie and then her headband as well. And no shoes on yet. Cute, but we coordinate today. It's like we, really we kind do. of match, even though I'm in stripes and she's in polka dots. Like it's giving the same energy. So hopefully it. we'll meet a stranger that can take a cute pic of us. But anyways, ready for one last day here. It feels like we've been here for literally a week. Like, but it's been good. Okay, Lauren came to Starbucks because she wanted to get a holiday drink, and I got a red velvet muffin. Looks so good. Public transportation check. <laughs> Waiting for the L2. All right, well, our lunch plans just changed. But it's okay because we're thinking maybe it's our sign that we need to try paella <laughs> at lunch. So we'll keep you posted. All right, we've made it to the Ark and it's nowhere near as busy over here as I thought it was gonna be. There's really not many people here. It is still kind of early. It's only like 10 a.m. Lauren and I go join this Zumba class.
All right, so we climbed up to the top of this. And now we're like inside of where we were just looking up at. <laughs> you can see the water. And there's all these workout classes. Isn't that cool? I want to be doing workout Look at this random elephant. What, Lauren? It's on the boat. How much is it? I don't know. Oh my god, how cool! Let's do it. We have nothing else to do. Guys, do you see that? One to two people, it's literally six euros for 30 minutes? Lauren, Lauren does not want to, I'm paying Lauren six euros if she doesn't want to go. Lauren is scared to go because of the birds. Zoom in on the birds. They're like a tiny They're harmless. I hate birds. I do too, but but this is gonna be, I told Lauren, this is her only chance to say that she went on a boat in Spain. <laughs> because no fancy rich hot yacht man invited us on his boat yesterday. So it seems like a good it's idea. now or never. And then I look closer. This is our notebook moment. We're doing this. Don't eat a man. We're gonna run it. <laughs> Just this one, wrong one! <laughs> There's a turtle! Wait, where? <gasps> Lauren, what are we doing? Look! Lauren, we got it. <laughs> it's a cactus! We can't see! <laughs> okay, just that one. Just that one. Just that one. Okay, and then get us backwards. Six euros, you guys. <laughs> Six euros. The turtle is cool, though. <laughs> Look at the turtle. Core oh. memory right here. <laughs> it's the way everyone's watching us. Well, we just had our notebook experience <laughs> for only six dollars. And it was quite the experience, to say Having the least. Having us row and dresses. <laughs> it was fun, it was fun, I'm glad we did it. Um, we've spent a couple hours in this park, it was really fun. Like, we've gotten to see city, we've gotten to see beach, we've gotten to see park now. We are now venturing off to get some tacos. Woo! We can't find a paella that has chicken in it. Lauren is not a big seafood girl and honestly neither am I. I'm a big shrimp girl. I do shrimp and But I'm like good. mussels and crawfish kind of freak me out. Yeah. But um, we figured we might as well get some tacos while we're at it. So <laughs> we found a place that has like a thousand ratings. So fingers crossed it's good. I mean the owner is so nice. You just order at the counter and we got three tacos each and a margarita and nachos. This is like the best marg I think I've ever had. So I wasn't planning on getting a margarita because I just feel like I have had one drink here, one drink there, like quite a bit recently. But I was like, if I get a marg, I'd probably get mango. And I asked him, I was like, I don't know, do I need a margarita? Like, what's your favorite? And he was like, mango. So I was like, okay. And it's literally like the best marg ever. It's like kind of frozen, kind of not. Cheers! Cheers, cheers, cheers! Chingale! I can't. <laughs> it's like spilling over. You can literally see them making the tacos right there. Lauren's turning into me. I just the like to phone eats first. Listen, I don't post them anywhere, but I write down from every trip like where I ate and what I ate, so I like to have a picture to remember. Because you're gonna give those recommendations to someone. <gasps> Look at I asked him for a little cup of pineapple and he gave it to me. Alright. Lauren, which taco do you predict is gonna be the best? She this has one. steak and cheese. Steak and queso. This one's chicken tingo with no. cilantro. Yeah, and yeah. Then this one's pork and yeah, pineapple. pineapple. I wanted the pork and, and pineapple, but he convinced me to get fish, which I hope is I good. Like and I got, but I got a side of pineapple because it, I was sad that I didn't get the past store solely for that. But good vibes. All right, I got one shrimp. One of the steak and cheese, he said that was his favorite, and then one of the fish, because he told me that was better than the pork. 
And then we also got nachos to split. Look at, this has my favorite kind of cheese on it. That, how do you say it? Cotija? It looks like mm. Oh, that. So good. Okay. To my surprise, the fish was my favorite of the three tacos. I thought the combo was great. And I really liked the place. I'd give it an eight. I wasn't impressed with the nachos. The guac on it needed some salt. Mango uh, margarita was great. But it was good, and it was cheap. Lauren? It was amazing, very amazing, but I am so full that I could throw up right now. Okay, which was your favorite? The the one that was like shredded. What was shredded that Shredded chicken? chicken tinga. Uh-huh, that was my favorite. All right guys, we are trying to figure out what to do now. We've hit like all the main spots. We really have. Um, we asked the guy for recommendations. He gave us he everything, gave us everything we've, everything we've done. So we're just kind of trying to figure it out. I don't think that you need three days. If we had picked a, a trip to have an extra day on, I would have picked Switzerland over Barcelona. Just because of the time of year we're here, like we can't go to the beach. Um, but if you're coming in the summer. But if you're coming in the summer, three, three days. Three days and then one day at the beach. One day at the beach. But if you're in the middle of fall, spend your extra day in Switz. So. Anyways, well, we're quickly learning that literally every store is closed on Sundays. So, that's good. Like, it's not just a few things closed. Literally, everything is closed today. Besides a few shoe stores. Well, we decided to venture down to the beach since all the shops were closed. And it's like packed over here today. So many more people. I wonder if it's because a lot of things are closed on Sunday. But it's also warmer than yesterday. So just enjoying the view for a little bit. We have a couple hours to kill. churros for with Nutella this was quite the experience to get but we got it so there's like a literal mall inside of the Barcelona airport and Lauren wants to go shopping I'm getting slippers because our house our apartment floor is so scary these are like $12 and they're super flat so they'll be able to fit in my suitcase and they weigh nothing so I'll be able to get them home but I've been thinking for weeks now how I need to get slippers so today's the day but they have so many cute things in here this is like an anthropology kind of Lauren is is eating this up. Look at that little vest is so cute. That Sherpa. I know, I picked out the Sherpa and the same over there. But this, is this is your reminder that hot girls eat Happy Meals every travel day. This one here, $4.20. You got apples, nuggets, french fries, a water, a sauce, and a mini McFlurry. Isn't that sick? All right, guys, we had, me and Lauren had our most seamless travel day back to Florence. Um, after our hot girl McDonald's, we just got on our flight. We had like an hour and a half flight, super quick, easy, landed, and then we took the dollar tram that we didn't pay for um, from, from the Florence airport back here. And I talked to my mom the whole way home um, to catch up with her because I'm really bad about calling home and I need Lauren to listen to her thoughts. And Lauren <laughs> listened to her thoughts while I talked to my mom. <laughs> and yeah, we're back. Um, a successful trip. Fun little first trip that was just the two of us. We had a really good time. Definitely exhausted. Gonna sleep like a baby tonight. I will say Barcelona was not my favorite country. I really wanted to like it more. And I think I would have loved it if it were warm enough for us to have gone in the water. Like if it were summertime. But it wasn't. Like, you know, it's kind of cold now that it's November. So I wish we would have done this a little bit sooner in the semester. Just because I think I would have liked it more, you know, to enjoy the beach and like have a tapa after and like go out. Um, but it's still a successful trip and I'm still happy we got to see it because I don't picture myself like booking a trip to Spain, you know. Um, 
just like at any given time. So yeah, that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna, it's 1 a.m. So I need to shower and go to bed. I'll catch you guys in the morning for another college week in my life. Hope that you guys enjoy. Check out the description bar. Blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Love you guys. Bye. Lauren, three hands if you're excited to be home. Bye. <laughs>